Hey everyone, today is May 17th, 2023, and I think we made a great achievement here getting the DOT's attention in New Hampshire. Let me show you. All right, everyone, it is about 6.30 in the morning, and we took a ride up here to do our rounds today. We haven't been on this road in almost a month, so I wanted to check it out. This entire road right here floods over. You see all the debris evidence? I have said before, during the spring thaw or a big storm, the two pipes here could not even handle it if they were completely open. They're so small, they clog so fast, but it doesn't matter. It would go over regardless. After multiple reports of this road to the DOT, I honestly think they're going to probably repave it because it's New Hampshire. We'll check it out at some point, but now this road is definitely on the New Hampshire DOT's radar. You guys remember this pipe right here. Wow, look at this. Look at all this debris that just built up right here. The New Hampshire DOT has definitely been unclogging this thing. You remember this crumpled one idiot with the excavator hit it. Now the DOT is going to come out here and replace every culvert on the road. Look at that beautiful waterfall right there. Barely trickling, but we were here a month ago. You guys are going to instantly um, know this location. Look at this. Replace 15-inch... Replace 18 inch. Um, so th is that what they're saying is here? That's what they're gonna put in because that would be a step up. Because right now they have a 12 inch pipe in there. And just look at the frost heaves. This is what happens up north. All these are rocks that were under the road and they get pushed up. I doubt the New Hampshire DOT is gonna spend the money putting new fill underneath the road because that's what happens. The fill underneath this road is it doesn't drain well. It holds water, and when water freezes, it expands. And if there's rocks and things, it pushes them up through the road. Replace this one. Oh, wow, this, that must be the number of pipes. They're going to replace every culvert on this road. Wow, with 18-inch ones. So this one right here, unfortunately, guys, this very, very thirsty tree is not going to get its water anymore. Look at this. That, we have been unclogging this culvert for years, and that is exciting that we finally am getting this thing replaced. Hopefully they don't cut the tree down. Hopefully they just move the pipe over slightly since they're going to be doing a lot of road work. Let me take you down the road and show you some other things. Um, you see right here, they marked everything. I don't even know why they marked it. They should just repave the whole thing. Who's going to hit this? Oh, this road is so bad, you shouldn't be bringing a car down here that has like two or inches of clearance. Just like seriously, some of these things are protruding up over six inches. And they, they've been like that for years. They just never marked it. And right here, you can see this rock actually poked its way through the pavement. It is an actual rock. All right, everyone. Now we're going to go down the road and see if the New Hampshire DOT unclogged a pipe that is... It was flowing over the road for the longest time. Today my vehicle is in the shop. I'm getting the entire subframe replaced in the back because one of the struts came undone. That's what you heard banging around in a lot of my videos the last time we went on the logging roads. Yeah, the strut came undone and just it beat up the subframe to the point they couldn't put a new strut on. So I'm borrowing someone else's truck today and this truck handles very well on these bumps. It's amazing, you can barely feel any of these big bumps with it. All right, everyone, I'm just going to take you down this entire road, and I want to show you everything the New Hampshire DOT is doing. It's pretty exciting. I actually, for the very first time ever, reported this to them this year. We never reported it before. I reported it to them this year because a landslide went down into one of the pipes. See this? Everything you see on the road written is pipe replacement. Well, most of them. A few of them say just to fix the end of the ones that are in better condition. So we're just going to take a quick ride and we show you each one. This pipe must be okay. They're not replacing it at all, despite there being a pretty big bump over it. Now, you cannot blame the road crews for this road's condition, all the big bumps and frost heaves. It's just part of being up north. This road, to get it in absolute perfect condition, not even including the paving, paving or any of that, just the fill would cost millions of dollars. You have to raise the road up with very drainable fill that doesn't hold water. Because 
when it contains water, like I said, it expands and it destroys the road. Because up here, we get frost over four feet into the ground. Here's another replacement with a giant pothole. Roads just get destroyed up north. That's why most far northern roads are dirt and they will stay dirt because improvements to get them in where they could survive winter with pavement, it's just not feasible. Right there was another pipe. So I, they, they, if they're doing this much work, I bet they're gonna even dig out new drainage ditches. For the most part, the drainage ditches on this road are in good shape, but there's a couple spots they just cannot handle the capacity. Um, I'm just looking right now for the one with the landslide. Yes, they did unclog it. We just drove by it, but I want to drive down the entire road again. See, the DOT walked down this entire road, and they marked every big pothole that somebody might hit. Here it is. Oh, look at that. My orange ribbon is still across the road. I just want to get out for a minute because I want to actually see this. They marked this one as number seven. So just stepping out for a minute, they still left my orange tape there. I reported this to the DOT and I asked them, would you like me to go back out and mark it for you? And they said, sure. So you see tons of water was going over the road, but the amount of water it looks like was going over the road it may not even be able to be handled by the culvert. One thing that does concern me, there's a few areas on this road, almost everywhere they're marking it. This one says they're gonna replace it with a 15 inch culvert, really, and not 18 like a lot of them are saying. That's kind of concerning. Oh, this is why, if you saw the video, we dug around in here for the longest time. You see how the rocks slipped? Same thing happened last year. This winter, more got loosened up and fell. Here's why we couldn't get to it. It's all mangled. That's why we couldn't even find it. Yeah, you can't really blame the excavator guy with this because this one was a blind shot in the dark. But, yeah. Is it, I think this is going to keep happening. They got to get excavators and just rip this whole stump and flatten that out just a little bit, I think. My ribbon there was tied down here to make it super noticeable. All right. All right, and we're off. They are replacing dozens and dozens of culverts. I imagine they are repaving. I think they would be repaving this. This is such a disaster. New Hampshire has really good machines. They can just, they can mill it, heat it up, and put it right back down, basically. New Hampshire, I've observed in many years, they, here's another replacement, that's it's marked replacement number eight. I've, I, I have observed a lot of times they don't even rip up roads, but they kind of have to here because it's so bad of shape. A lot of times they just put down oil and they put another layer over the top. There's some roads up here. They must have over a foot thick of pavement. That one right there said fix outlet. So they're not replacing that one. They must have inspected that one in pretty good shape. But over the years, I've been on this road, and a good amount of them were starting to rot out on the bottom. That one right there is another replacement. Here, these are some of the biggest rocks coming up into the road. These are around the ones. Oh, that one's getting a 24-inch replacement. I think it already has that. Honestly, that first place we got out at that I was showing you where those two pipes with the very thirsty tree just cannot handle it, I don't think 18 inches is adequate, still, for the amount of water that has gone across that road in the past. It's a step up from 12 inches, it won't clog as easy, but we're still definitely, with these 18 inch pipes, we're still going to be unclogging this road all the time, I can tell. It's still going to be a major issue, even with the slight step up. Because the way they're clogged, it's usually flash flooding, and here we are again at that area. You see, you can maybe still see the evidence. This whole road had inches of water going across it for over 50 feet, maybe 70 feet straight. That's not going to be able to fit through even two 18-inch pipes. Plus, if there's that much water coming down, it's certainly going to bring debris with it and plug them up anyways. Back there, I would have probably put a three-foot pipe in. Not at the thirsty tree. That one can stay 12 inches. But the one where the actual stream is permanent and it's not just drainage, I think that should have like a three foot pipe. And that would probably solve all their issues right there. But I don't expect them to listen to me. 
Although, their drainage guy who's inspecting this road should be noticing the amount of debris and the amount of water it must have taken to put that there. So we're still continuing down the road. This area is not as bad. It's still a little smooth, but everything feels smooth today. Here's another replacement. Right here, I can tell some water probably went over the road. That one right there said Fix Inlet. They're not replacing that one. That one actually was in pretty good shape. It was showing um, just wear and tear, a normal wear and tear. The bottom of the culvert was rusty because the galvanization was worn down by rocks and pebbles that get blasted through it during any big storm because it's a pretty rocky little stream. Right here we have another big aluminum culvert. That one back there that was under the landslide was also an aluminum culvert. That one right there it says fix inlet. So they might just cut the end of it off because aluminum, it can get crushed. It's a soft metal, but it's not going to rust through. And there's, there's nothing like galvanization that can get worn off. The entire pipe would have to wear through it, which would take absolutely forever. Oh my gosh, I am going to laugh at the DOT if I come back here and they put plastic pipes in. Because I call it. If they put plastic pipes in, oh, they're all going to be crushed after within two years. I call it if they put those stupid things in. But hopefully they're, they're a smart enough DOT to not do something like that. Usually those mistakes are made by the privately owned companies. I don't know why plastic and metal are almost the same price. The reason a lot of companies, I think, choose the plastic, and are you able to see there's, there's a yellow line in the middle of the road? Yeah, this used to be used as a main road until they made another road that bypasses it so you don't have to take it. That's one of the reasons it did fall into disrepair like this. Because it's not a major artery anymore. There's a way around it. But people still do use this road. Um, that's why they're doing all this work to fix it up again. Um, I was saying plastic pipes, they're often used because the manufacturer says it has a life of over 70 years. The 70 years is before the pipe begins breaking down. Up here, this far north, the winters are too hard. There's too many frost heaves that will crush and destroy them. And they're just soft. Big trucks going over them. That makes, it just softens the ground and just crushes right into it. While a metal pipe can handle a big truck going over it, even right against the culvert. It doesn't even have to be installed very deep. And because there's such similar price, it doesn't really matter which way you go. And they're basically the same exact price. Sometimes one or the other may be more expensive than the other at any given time. It's because the manufacturer says 70 years that makes it appealing. While a metal pipe, they usually have a life expectancy of 30 plus years, especially on roads that don't receive road salt. Also, if it's in an application where it's not like a flash flood area when it sends little pebbles and stuff through it, you know, a lot of erosion happening, then it'll last even longer if the galvanization doesn't break down. But then again, you gotta hear this. Massachusetts, because of their neglect and they don't replace things, I have found culverts there that are metal from the 1960s. The whole bottom's rusted out, but they're still working because thankfully they packed it with gravel and stone. It can't erode and wash out the road because of the way they packed around it despite the bottom being missing, which is pretty exciting. This section of road here, it's not the bumpiest, but there's a lot of pipes. We just went over one. They're not marked anything. Here we go over another. It must be in great condition. They didn't mark anything. We're going over another. That one right there says, I think it said replacement. Um, there should be a couple more coming up right around the corner. The DOT should have learned their lesson on this road because they had to do a major repair a few years ago. Right here at the top of this hill right here, notice how the pavement just gets brand new and there's new reflectors. Entire road got pushed out because the culvert pipe, which is down the embankment about 30 feet, got plugged. 30 feet of water is very, that's a lot of pressure. The road is not built to be a dam and it pushed the entire thing out because it was undersized. Now there they learned their lesson and they replaced it with a three foot pipe, which should have a lot more trouble getting clogged. And right now we just drove over like a 10 foot pipe, which was pretty interesting. And here we reached the end of the road, there's no more. And I hope today's update video was interesting everyone. Thanks for watching and have a great day.